London offers many antique buying opportunities. Whether you are trying to find a gift, a piece of furniture, a work of art for your home, or whether you are looking to enhance your collection, this city caters for all buyers and every price level. This is a brief personal guide to antique shopping in London. I'm going to show you where to go to find wonderful gifts and places where you can enhance your existing collections. I'll also point out a few places where you might like to stop and rest to enjoy the culinary and cultural things London has to offer along the way. First stop, the Pimlico Road. Straddling the borders of Chelsea, Belgravia and Pimlico, this street is my stomping ground. The Pimlico Road has a tremendous energy and a short stroll from Sloane Square will take you to this charming neighbourhood. Pimlico Road has been associated with fine art and antiques since the 1960s and is synonymous with the antiques trade. It is now regarded as London's design centre. It is home to my own antiques gallery, Timothy Langston Fine Art and Antiques, where we stock seating, furniture, tables, mirrors, cabinet furniture, vases, objects of art and fine oil paintings. Within our small red-fronted shop, the scope and variety of items available will provide an excellent starting point for your antique search without overwhelming you. While taking in the antique shops, why not pop into Tonello's for lunch, one of London's best Italian restaurants? At night, how about La Poule Po, London's most romantic restaurant? Don't miss the Saturday Farmer's Market, which takes place on Orange Square just under the gaze of the statue of Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, our most famous resident. There are a number of dealers on the Pimlico Road worth visiting, which I've written down for you in the accompanying blog entry. On now to Portobello Road Market, the most famous antiques market in the world. Only open on Saturdays, there are street traders and stallholders, a myriad of antique objects, paintings and jewellery from a labyrinth of bustling arcades. Portobello Road is a short walk from Notting Hill Gate and I recommend that you come on foot or use public transport. The street market extends all the way up to the West Way. Beyond the initial antiques hub you will find traders selling vintage clothes, modern fashion and ethnic foods. It is worth remembering that the whole of the antiques trade keeps an eye on Portobello which means there are some remarkable discoveries to be made. Another decorative source, the Lily Road, is an extension to Old Brompton Road and runs through North Fulham into Hammersmith. The antiques dealers here sell affordable furnishings with an emphasis upon French, Scandinavian and modern design. If you're coming by car, there is ample parking. A short distance from the Lily Road, head to the King's Road. This stretch of one of London's most famous streets is located in East Fulham. Dealers stock an exciting mix of fine and decorative furniture, lighting and stylish accessories. Speaking of which, Core One is located just off the King's Road behind the Chelsea Gasworks. It is home to some big names in the London furniture trade. When it's time for refreshment, go to Megan's and try their wonderful selection of quiches. For those who are interested in Oriental art, a great place to venture is Kensington Church Street. It is especially associated with dealers in Asian ceramics and works of art. It is also home to a number of traditional English furniture dealers. Lunch at Sally Clark's is a must, or perhaps a pint of London bitter at the Churchill Arms. And remember to visit the State Apartments at Kensington Palace, only a short walk away. Where Old Church Street dissects the Fulham Road, you will find some of London's grandest English furniture dealers. Why not walk around the corner to the Victoria and Albert Museum for additional inspiration? Mayfair and St James's are host to some of London's great names in fine art and antiques dealing. If you are looking to acquire an old master painting or an impressionist oil, you should visit this area and the Bond Street galleries. There are also some remarkable dealers of rare and important English furniture, selling museum quality pieces by the most significant cabinet makers. Depending upon your budget, you might lunch at Gordon Ramsay and Claridge's, or if you fancy something more traditional, 
try an award-winning steak and kidney pie at the Guinea Grill in Bruton Place. A good place to find a special gift is Gray's Antiques Market in Davies Street. This emporium is home to dozens of specialist dealers stocking fine antiques, vintage fashion, jewellery, toys and more. This approachable centre is guaranteed to impress any antiques enthusiast. Dover Street is increasingly synonymous with the antiques trade and the network of old Georgian streets around St James's remain home to a number of important specialist dealers. Again, you can find all the names in my blog, which also details a number of well-established dealerships hidden behind closed doors. St James's is full of them, but don't be put off by the doorbell. When you have finished your tour of St James's, don't forget Fortnum and Mason's for afternoon tea. Just north of the Marylebone Road lies one of the London antique trade's hidden secrets, Church Street. It is home to Alfie's Antique Market, a popular destination for bargain hunters if you seek vintage jewellery and fashion through to mid-century design. For lunch, why not try a very English experience? Fish and chips at Seashell of Lisson Grove. Located on Chancery Lane in London's legal district, Collectors of silverware must visit the London Silver Vaults. Built in 1876, the vaults were originally designed to house valuable property belonging to the rich and famous. Since the Second World War, silver dealers have traded from this underground treasure trove. When visiting, do take a moment to walk through the grounds of Lincoln's Inn, the most picturesque inn of court, with its 17th century chambers and well-manicured garden stairs, and for Georgian enthusiasts, I would recommend visiting the Sir John Soane's Museum in Lincoln's Inn Fields, where you will experience the classical world through one of the most fascinating and original collections in London. I do hope you will at least enjoy some of these shopping trips that I have suggested. And if you do find yourself on the Pimlico Road, please pop in. I'd love to hear about your adventures in London. <laughs>